Good day fellow investors. My name is Sven Karlin and I hope you feel great today. What I want to discuss today is gold and especially gold correlations with inflation, interest rates, debt levels and the money supply. This will give us a perfect picture of where gold stands now and what's the outlook for the future. Is there more probability that it rises or is there more probability that it goes down? This will give insight to how much of your portfolio should be allocated to gold. I have been pretty bullish on this channel on gold. You can check my video why everybody should own a little bit of gold. You can check my video on why gold miners are better because they offer less risk to much higher returns. And you can check my analysis of a gold miner to see how am I looking at and analyzing a gold mining stock. So let's start with what's going on with gold. The first chart I want to show you is gold prices in blue correlation with the Fed's balance sheet. Since the 2000s, the Fed's balance sheet was stable, gold prices were rising, then the Fed, Fed's balance sheet significantly increased, gold prices went even higher to euphoria in 2011, but then the story diverged a bit. Yellen is telling us that they will trim the balance sheet a little bit. I don't believe she can. That would be very negative to the economy, so I think gold prices are limited on the downside that they could revert to be in balance with the Fed's balance sheet. The second chart I want to show you is gold prices, again in blue, and interest rates. As you can see in this chart from the 1970s, when gold was decoupled from convertibility with the dollar, as interest rates went up, gold prices also increased. When interest rates were declining, gold prices declined until 2010, when even with low interest rates, gold prices shoot up significantly due to the Fed's balance sheet. There is more money gold prices increase. Higher interest rates means higher inflation, gold prices also increase. Since gold could not be converted to the dollar, thus the potential money supply became unlimited, gold prices have been constantly increasing with temporary ups and downs, but the long-term trend is pretty clear. The highest correlation that I can find is gold prices and inflation. When inflation is rising, gold prices go up. When inflation is declining, gold prices also decline. And you can see how this chart is pretty telling. Perfect correlation with gold prices and inflation. So as we are now in a period where inflation starts to heat up slowly, we have had eight years of low inflation, because new technologies, low cost productions, overproduction, kept low prices, commodities were low, so that's why inflation was low and monetary banks could ha keep low interest rates. Why would you raise interest rates if there is no inflation? And because interest rates push the economy. This is short-term thinking, but as we know, politicians and monetary politicians have a very short-term oriented mind. So what's going on with inflation? We can see that in the last 12 months US inflation has been picking up, European inflation has been picking up, so if inflation continues to rise, we will see higher gold prices probably. So this is the scenario for the situation as is. Another scenario would be a recession. What happens if Europe, Japan, or uh, Japan again, or the US enters into a recession? well, then monetary policy will be again the same. They will keep adding money and lowering interest rates. More money, gold is fixed, again, higher gold prices. In case of panic, a real crisis, financial turmoil, where, where people lose faith in central banks and monetary policies, then gold prices would explode. Now, from where I look at it, since 1971, when the money supply became unlimited because you could not convert dollar, uh, gold to dollars. People are in a new experiment when they just print, print, print money. 
this makes the trend for gold clear. Gold is going up because gold, let's say, is relatively fixed while money is unfixed. And if you can print, everybody's tempted to print money. I would print much money if I had a money printer <laughs> here close to my desk. Why, why do governments print so much money? Well, let me show you this chart. This is US debt levels, federal debt, and relation to gold prices. The more money there is in the environment, the more inflation, it's easier to pay back old debts. That's why governments will always be enticed to print more and more money. And that's why the inflation levels are good if they are around 2 and 4%. This means only one thing for gold, and that is higher prices. You have seen before 1971 it wasn't possible to be so much in debt because everything was coupled to gold prices, 1971 and President Nixon. You might want to check a bit of history on that, or I can make a video interesting. So, I'm pretty pretty bullish on gold after this analysis even more, and now the question remains, how much should you have of your portfolio exposed, exposed to gold? We know that gold is not a producing asset, thus no dividends, no growth from equity or similar things. Gold is just a protective asset. And now, how much to have in your portfolio? Ray Dalio says that you can you should, everybody should have in an all-weather portfolio, should have 7.5% exposure to gold. 7.5% is not that high. If gold prices decline, then you lose a bit. If gold prices go up, you make a bit. But it gives you protection along other parts of an all-weather portfolio, which I can make a video about too. So if you want to have less risk, I always suggest gold miners because they are much more volatile in relation to gold prices. If you find a gold miner with low cost production, then you have limited downside risk and high potential upside. And then you can also have a smaller exposure in your portfolio because gold miners, even if you have 1%, if gold prices shoot up in a crisis, then gold miners might, go, might grow even tenfold or twentyfold. So it's pretty asymmetric positive risk reward situation. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments below. Any interesting gold stock picks, always welcome to share with us. And I'll see you in the next video.